All right, we're live. Welcome to the awesome dynamic show, or our webinar as we like to call it. Uh, my name is Paul DeWorry. I'm the owner and president of Awesome Dynamic Tech Solutions. Uh, with me, I've got uh, three folks, uh, all work for Awesome Dynamic. Let's go in a reverse order this time. We'll go Blake, Robin, Terry. Blake, take it away. Folks, how you doing? Blake, uh, Tintori. I assist Robin on the SEO side, and I help Paul and Tim on the Amazon side. And then, Blake, you should do the handoff. Robin? Robin. <laughs> Hi. I'm Robin, and I do the SEO, search engine optimization, and I get you higher up on Google. And then, Terry? Hi, Terry Levin. I am the director of sales for Awesome Dynamic, and I uh, welcome you all to our webinar. And back to Paul. All right. There you go. Good handoff, Terry. All right. So... Um, have on my screen here, I'm going to share my screen, our services real quick so you know what we do. Uh, we do website, uh, responsive website design, uh, which means it's mobile friendly. Uh, we also do search engine optimization, uh, helping you get your business found on Google. We do Amazon seller consulting to get your product seen by millions on Amazon. We also do Google Street View, which is uh, the virtual tours of the inside of your business. Uh, today we have something a little bit different. If you go to our homepage, awesomedynamic.com, you're able to partic in the participate in the webinar right here on our homepage with this chat box here. So wanted to do a little test. Blake, would you mind heading over to the to the homepage there and type me a message? Let me see if yes, that sir. comes to me. You know, the other thing that you can do while Blake is pulling that up is uh, you can click on this green button, participate using Google uh, slash Gmail account, and then you're able to use the question and answer uh, part of Google Hangouts, which I also have open. And we do have a question already. Um, and I don't know if this is recent or current. Who's better than me, Janae or JJ Campbell? And this is from a Jeanette Fancy. So I don't know what that was all about. But if you'd clarify, that'd be great. <laughs> so Mine is looking different. Looks I, different I can't in there. The question. So Robin, it says it says want to join. So you just pu punch in your name there. So just type in Robin, and then hit enter. And now you can just type a message. I see. All right, Blake already said hello. So Robin, go ahead and say something. Wow, wow, SEO is cool. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, so you have this ability to use this chat box here. So again, you click there, punch in your name, and then you're able to ask us any questions. We'll monitor that as well. So that being said, we have a uh, we we want to help people with their online presence. We want to help folks with uh, any sort of issues they're having with their website. Any any way we can help you get found on Google, uh, we have. Um, we, we are here to give you that expert advice. So uh, in, in the spirit of that, uh, if, if you have questions, please type those questions in uh, so this way we can get uh, answer those questions for you. Again, if you go to awesomedynamic.com, you can go to this little chat box here and type in your question and we'll answer it. But in the interim, we actually have three websites that we want to review uh, that Terry's lined up for us. And, uh, and we're going to send those folks a recording if they haven't uh, attended our webinar today. Terry, which, uh, which site do you think we should start with today? Uh, I think probably the printing factory would be a good one. Okay. So let me visit. Uh, I'm going to Google the printing factory. All right, and who's uh, who owns the printing factory? Who are you talking to over there? John Petrovsky. All right, John Petrovsky. So here uh, is what happens when I Google their name. So we get the printing factory. We can see here uh, we have, I'm just going to draw with this little tool here. Uh, we see that they come up really well for their name. Uh, so right here is the first organic result, meaning it's not paid for by any ads. Uh, we can see that their homepage comes up as the first result. We can see their about page comes up as the second. Their contact page comes up third. And then their work page comes up fourth. So they're doing very well for their business name, which is expected. That's, that's good. Um, we see that above here we have people's uh, people's uh, ads, 
So here we have a couple of different ads here, people paying for ads. Uh, just so you know, statistically, 30% of people click on these, 70% uh, of people click in this organic area. We can also see that they're showing up in what's called the knowledge graph here. So this knowledge graph that's on the right here, uh, we see that there is a, this is driven from your Google My Business listing. You can see that Google is giving you information about the printing factory. You can see that they have their logo in here. Uh, it shows where they are on the map. It has a way to look outside the building using Google Maps. Uh, we have information about their reviews. Uh, we see that they're open today, uh, and we can see their address and phone number. So this is kind of the first peek that Google gives you um, at their uh, at their presence. So what I'm going to do, what I what I did first when Terry told me about this, is I'm going to click on the first results here to see their website. I'm going to do a quick pause there. Those of you that are just joining us, uh, you can come right here to the uh, to our homepage, awesomedynamic.com. Click in this box here, punch in your name, and you can ask us any questions that you have or watching this. Also, if you're joining us through Hangouts, you can use the little question and answer button and ask us questions there as well. But I'm going to go back to reviewing the printing factory. We're going to take a look at this website and a couple others. Uh, let's see here. Terry, do you remember my comment of the website when I first saw it? Uh, yes, we okay. had. Some, I think I think we were talking about some issues with where the venue that the page tabs are located. Yes, Robin, I wanted to get your reaction. Do you see where the page tabs are here? Mm, no. Okay, <laughs> and I didn't either for probably about the first three minutes while I was talking with Terry, and then I finally realized they're all the way at the bottom of the site here. Do you see them down here? Yeah. Okay, so this is um, this is a problem. And the reason it's a problem is because I just asked Robin if she knew where they were, and she didn't. In fact, when I was sitting here for about two or three minutes looking at the site, I was like, I was thinking to myself, is this is this all the website is? Just these three words, and I get free donuts, and and this item in the middle is changing. But the the, the navigation of the different things that I might be looking for is at the bottom, um, and and folks are not seeing that. The best place to have this is at the top. You want it at the top. So. Uh, if I click on any of those, so I'll go ahead and click on the About page, you can see it shifts to the top. That's also a problem. The fact that the navigation moves from one place to the next can definitely be a problem because folks are looking for that consistency and navigating throughout the site. So definitely get a consistent look and feel. And whoops, let me get that out of there. Uh, consistent look and feel here and make sure your navigation is in the same place in every page. And ideally, that one, that needs to be at the top of the page. So now, first impressions of let's let's do first impressions of the home page since the or the about page since um, that's the next link here. Um, Robin, do you want to give me your impressions of what you see here? Sure. Um, well, one thing that's good is you have the phone number up at the top there that says get in touch, so it's a great call to action to begin with. Um, I would say that you also have the request a quote. Uh, action right there, but what I would do is probably turn that into more of a clickable button. It is clickable right now, but if you put like a little square behind it um, or a little rectangle button that's clickable, it'll it'll stand out a little more. You can also have the option of putting a form right there so they can just fill it out right there without even having to click. Um, I like that you have the social share buttons there, but what's missing is the actual buttons. So if they want to get to your Facebook page or if they want to actually get to those pages, um, usually it's pretty standard on most websites to have those little circle or square buttons up at the top right. Um, yeah, here they are down there. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely put those at the top and have those open in a new tab. Um, one thing that really stands out to me is that your logo is very, very small. Um, that's something that I want to want to see uh, even above the menu and uh, have it really really big, um, so that you know you can concentrate on your on your branding and every every page should have that maybe even a tagline. Um, the who we are is really what stands out on this page, and that doesn't have any keywords, it doesn't have any logos, it doesn't have your brand name, so it's it's a uh, it's it's a good call, a good call out right there. But we want it to have something that uh, identifies you. Uh, the text, the text is a little bit on the small side. Um, that would be a problem when someone goes to the mobile site. Um, you might get actually docked on penalty points from Google on having the text really small. Um, besides that, uh, I don't know. 
Blake does this every day. Maybe he has a couple couple more from the mini audits um, that that he can point out here. Blake, you want to take a take a stab at what you see here? Love to yeah, hear your impressions. Load the site. I remember doing this one. Sorry, I'm taking show notes. Uh, what the printing? I can't see the URL. Is it the printingfactory.com? It's PPF Printing. T is in Tom, P is in Paul, F is in Frank, printing.com. And, like, I'm just more interested in your immediate reaction. So, without looking up the mini audit, what well, do I'm not, you see? I'm not. Going to the website. Um, uh, I liked it that they have an FAQ page. It's always nice. Um, they don't have a separate page for all their services, which can seriously hurt their rankings. That's, uh, here, let me share my screen really quick. Uh, uh, for these annual reports, booklets, brochures, newsletters, etc., I'd love to see service pages for this that'll help you rank for essentially all of these services that you do, granted you optimize it correctly for that. Um, it's nice that you have some of our clients, but actually have links to them but don't have links to the work that you actually do. It's just a single service page with images um, that, that could definitely be improved. Um, new se the news section is nice. It's almost like a blog, similar, but it uh, doesn't seem to be too active. The last post is 2013, which isn't exactly gaining you any traction uh, as of right now or currently. Um, the about page, let's see, pretty decent. Uh, I don't see a copyright date on the bottom of the any of the pages and your foot, uh, the footer that is, but you do have contact info, social media buttons, your service and location, which is great. Um, I need to stop saying um. I was not <laughs> a fan of the home page as well when I first did the website mini audit. It wasn't, I could actually find the buttons, but I, I didn't get a good feel of the overall layout. I don't mind the colors and the format, but it did feel odd trying to bring my mouse all the way to the bottom to actually start doing anything. And it's nice that you do have an embedded Google map, which is very nice looking and, and powerful for any potential clients or visitors. They want to know where you're at, right? Right. Simple contact form, which is nice. It's If it was lengthy, that has the potential of turning away or turning off customers. <clears throat> yeah, I really clients. like this contact form. This is definitely everything I'd recommend in a contact form. It's, and it's, I like the little symbols next to each item. In fact, I might even want to start including it in our sites. I think this is a really neat way of putting a little symbol next to each type of contact. Blake, would you scroll back down there? I want to put that on the screen. Okay. So the 407 with the little map pinpoint, the phone, the telephone next to it, the, the little fax machine. I think that's a really cool way of uh, showing those different items. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal this idea. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's my... Uh, general impression, I'd have to see, I forget if they have a Google Plus page, I don't see a link to it Im immediately for their with their uh, social media buttons, but um, overall a pretty decent site compared to a lot of the sites we audit, but definitely has the potential for major improvements in terms of getting found online. I'd like to make a few more comments. Terry, did you have anything that you'd like to say before I make some more comments? The only thing I was just saying is I'm pretty sure they do not have their Google business page set up and uh, that's something that I had talked to him briefly about and maybe coming to our uh, GYBO seminar. That's right. That's on uh, February 17th at 2 o'clock in Gray's Lake uh, at the Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Office with Jim Starwalt. Now that's so, the review party. Oh, that's the review party. That's our right. next upcoming event. I'm right. sorry. The the GYBO event, which stands for Get Your Business Online, that's, uh, that's a little bit farther out, I think in uh, March. Yes. Um, but a uh, couple comments I want to make on here. I also noticed that your phone number, uh, for some reason, it looks like the the parenthesis in the 847. I'm going to share my screen here. Uh, the parenthesis in the 847 seems squished uh, against the 949. So uh, getting a consistent 
uh, space between this parenthesis and the 949 uh, based on how everything else on the internet is in terms of that space is going to be important for the consistency of your phone number with all the, the the directory listings that are out there that actually helps you rank better if this matches your Google Plus. We want to make sure that that space is in there. I noticed that at the bottom too you have this parenthesis squished against the 9. So you want to get that cleaned up. Uh, let's see what else we have so here. If I had to pick one thing to start doing you know, today with your web developer is definitely what Blake said, getting those a service tab right there and getting a different page for each service mm -hmm. and then writing 300 to 600 words on each one of those pages and adding pictures and adding videos on each one of those pages. Yeah. So that right there is, I mean, a month's work of work at, at the at minimum. Right. But that'll definitely help uh, with getting getting you found for the different things that you do. So someone searches, you know, I want direct mail provider in Mundelein. If you have a page that says direct mail on it, you're going to probably show up for that. Uh, let's see what else I wanted to take a look at here. So you have your logo really big at the bottom, and we'd like to see that a lot bigger at the top. Um, just Twitter, just looking at your social media real quick here. So I'm going to pop open, let's see, these three here. Your Twitter account. We see that the last post is on the 26th of this year uh, on January, so actually not too long ago. But the idea here is with your social media, if you're not going to stay on top of it all the time, at least post something every 21 days so people don't think that you're closed. Uh, let's take a look at the um, the LinkedIn page here. So this is this is our uh, this is our contact there, right? Terry, yep. you said it was John. All right. right. And then if we come over here to the Facebook page, we can see the last post was, oh, just a couple days ago. So uh, let's see. Then this is information uh, about the psychology of restaurants used to manipulate you. Um, so although this might be very interesting information, um, if you can make it interesting and revolve around what you do, that would be, that would be ideal. Uh, let's go back to the website here, see if there's anything else we can do. Uh, uh, Talking about the home page really quick and part of my interruption, uh, even though it is fairly visually appealing, uh, there's hardly any content you can rank for and there's no video that maybe promotes your business, any text that Google bots can crawl and help you rank better and uh, it is nice to have a visually appealing home page but it's also important that you get c customers to you know, show up at your business or contact you as well. So you want to at least try and balance those ideas. So the other thing is I don't, just visually looking at this, I see that it's the printing factory, but I have no idea what they do based on my first three to five second impression of their homepage. I, I, I know they do printing, but I don't know what they print. I have no idea without clicking through, not enticed to click through, to learn more about it by this homepage. Plus, I would be more it's confused. It's like a donut shop. Yeah, especially with the yeah, because that's the main thing I notice is the donuts, right, Robin? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love a donut right now. Yeah, sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so uh, let's take a look at their Google presence real quick. By the way, I'm going to take a quick pause here. Notice we got some more viewers. Uh, if you're looking at my screen here, you go to awesomedynamic.com. We get this giant blue box on my homepage. Uh, if you come here, you can type in. Uh, your name, and then you can type any questions that you have about what we're talking about, or uh, if you'd like us to check out your site, we can check it out. Uh, if you click on this green button, you can come into the Hangout and actually chat with us through the question and answer feature in the Google Hangout if you have a Google account. Uh, but we'll go ahead and move right along to... If you like this webinar, you can leave us a Google review. Yes, yes, you can leave us a Google review, and I'll uh, come back to that in a moment. Uh, one other thing I did while we were, Blake was talking is take a look if their site is mobile-friendly. So actually do get a good score here, a 75 for the mobile and 83 for the desktop. But um, yeah, th this is for a lot of the technical things. So actually from a technical stand technical standpoint, Google's not giving you some bad scores here. But you can see how it looks on mobile. And you know, most people expect that menu to be up at the top. And you can see it renders right there at the bottom as tiny, tiny items there. I think it should be saying, 
uh, here it is, size tap targets appropriately. So it says consider fixing. That basically means people have to have really tiny fingers to click on that down there to navigate to your pages. And if you make them sized appropriately, like with one of those little three-line menus that expands, that would definitely be better. Uh, but the way you do this with your website, anybody that's out there listening, you go to just Google PageSpeed Insights. You can punch in your domain, and it'll actually give you an evaluation of things that you can fix right away. Google gives you information that you can fix to do better online, and this is one of the places it does it. One of the places it does it. Uh, let's see one more thing. So the printing factory. We'll see if we can find their Google My Business page, and that's what populates this information here. Let's take a look at this review he's got. Okay, five star review from two days ago or two years ago. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find it here. Uh, the one thing that we mentioned a little while ago is this GYBO.com, which stands for Get Your Business Online. We just heard that Google calls it, what do they call it, Terry? Gaibo? Gaibo. Yeah, he was in a Google seminar yesterday, and they were all, people at Google were calling it Gaibo. Anyway, uh, I can... All the, cool, all the cool kids call it that. That's what I'm calling it now. Oh, yeah? All yeah. right. So I, I guess i got to follow suit. Peer yep. pressure. Uh, the Printing Factory. In Underline, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it says your business is not on the map, uh, but we see it showing up here, which is interesting. So let me go to another place to see what I can find. Oops, to plus google.com, and we'll search for uh, the printing factory. Uh, there it is. Oh, it's interesting. So this is a brand page. It looks this is the one that was created when you made a YouTube channel, uh, which has no videos on it. And let's see if we can find the printing factory again. That's the one we just visited. That's definitely not yours. That looks like another business. Okay, so really, it looks like Google has the information um, in GYBO, but it says you're not on the map. So the next step would be to click on this, add your business info, and then we would type in. So they do see it here, but it's not showing up in any way that's valuable. So we'd click on this, we'd verify that you know we're the owner and, and, and say we have admin rights, and then there's a lot of things we could do to customize your presence on Google based on uh, based on what you enter there. So it's something we definitely, definitely need to do to uh, get you to come up against your competitors. Now based on what you rank or what you have on your website, I'm just going to do a couple searches to see how you come up against your competition. So um, Let's go back to, what was it, TPF printing, the printing factory printing, and let's go back to the work. So you want to come up for booklets, brochures, newsletters, catalogs, corporate identity packages, invitations, large format signs and banners. We'll do signs because I know who's going to come up for that one. <laughs> signs bundle line. Ah, not coming up for this, but uh, Sinorama, this is our client, Sinorama in Libertyville. But we can see that um, the first item that comes up is an ad, and then the th next items that come up are Signs Now Mundelein, Signs Now Mundelein, and uh, Signal Graphics. We can actually, oh, that's two different stores. I think that maybe one of these sold. You can actually mark one of those clothes and get another position here. Um, then the Signs Now Mundelein. Now, Mundelein, so they're really dominating in Mundelein here. Then we have our client, Signorama, and then another Signs Now. Uh, but you can see that you're not coming up for this. So for Signs in Mundelein, uh, let's just do more places and see if you come up in here at all. So you can see my client, Signorama, is actually in the local results, in position to take out one of those top three spots. Uh, I don't see the printing factory in here. So let's see what else you might want to rank for. Newsletters, brochures. So, newsletters. All right, we have uh, newsletters Mundelein. Now that might be something looking for um, looking for an, uh, a newsletter they want to read, but let's just do printing Mundelein. 
So you come up here, printing factory, so that's good. Uh, then you have uh, Minuteman Press, Signal Graphics, then your website comes up here. But you notice here that you have the opportunity to get some reviews here, so this way uh, people will call you uh, compared to the other guys no matter what. I want to show you an example of this. So if I do, um, let's see, um, Libertyville Signs, or even Libertyville Printing. A few really graphics and printing. I'm su I'm surprised the little stars aren't coming up because I know they have a lot of a lot of reviews. They have 40 Google reviews and they're not showing up here. But when Google does decide to show that, uh, let's do the signs again. Libertyville signs. You can see that the number of reviews here. People are not going to call Heritage. They may call Signorama and Fast Signs if they're looking just at the reviews briefly. Which one are they going to call first? They're going to call Signorama, just because 87 five-star reviews. You know, obviously, if that many people are happy, I'm going to be happy. So I'm going to click on that. So yeah, you know, we have that that issue there. We took a look at the website. There's a lot of other things that we could look at in, certain, in terms of the technical aspects back in the code, but uh, that kind of gives you a kind of brief overview of different things you can improve. I agree with Robin. She said if you create one page per service and put like three to six hundred words with pictures of what you do, your different pages in your website can start ranking for those things very quickly. Any last thoughts from Terry, Rob, and Blake on, on, on their uh, presence here? Uh, not for me. I think we did a pretty good job of, of showing them where they are. Okay, very good. Agreed. All right, so getting back to this... Uh, this chat here. Remember, if you come to awesomedynamic.com and scroll down here, there's the live webinar box. You can type in your specific questions. We'd love to hear from you. Um, we'd love you to introduce who you are so we can say hello, uh, and and we can also look at your website presence or anything else that uh, we might be able to help you fix. So let's uh, let's move on to our next one. We have um, L. R. Gregory, right? Yep. All right. So let's take a look at that. So. Move this up so I can monitor the chat, and we'll go to L. R. Gregory. There's another person that Terry's been in contact recently that said that they were um, possibly, yeah, they need some website help. I think that's what they said, Terry, right? Yes. Okay. So here we go. I get to the home page, and on this one, I see the I see the buttons right away, right? So I see the buttons right away. I I know that I can get to these different things. The navigation isn't a isn't hard to find. Um, I also see that the logo is nice and big. The logo actually tells me what they do, heating, cooling, roofing right away. Uh, so that's that's a very good uh, first impression. I know what they do within seconds of getting here. I also see the phone number nice and big. I see that, hey, this is, this is how to call them. The one thing I'm noticing is that it's part of the picture here. So if I was on a smartphone and I wanted to try and click on that phone number, not only do I have to scroll sideways or zoom out, to get to the phone number, but even if I uh, was using my smartphone here and wanted to click on that phone number to call them, I can't do it because it's inside of a picture here. Okay, uh, let's see. We have some text on the home page here. Uh, Robin, do you want to give me your impressions of some of the text on the home page here? Yeah, well, the first thing I notice is that it's very short. I want to see, I mean, it's, it's recommended up to 15, a minimum of 1,500 words on your home page. I know that's a lot, so what you can do is actually break up that text with pictures, videos, maybe even you know a slideshow. Um, but right now it's just a really short summary and what we want to see is a lot more detail. What puts you above the rest of your competitors? Uh, what, what services do you have in, in summary? And it's really a lot of, uh, I know there's a whole services page over there, but it's really a lot of writing and then rewriting, then rewriting it again in a different way so that you have a ton of original content on your website. Uh, so that's what Google really wants to see. Even if you, there's a full page on you know, heating, there's a full page on cooling, you still want to put it on your home page and write it all over again in a different way. That's a great point, Robin. The other thing is, after while you were saying that, I noticed that they have 24-hour emergency, 24 emergency service, free estimates on equipment, and free second opinions. But I didn't get that first impression when I when I first looked. I could see uh, an advantage of having like a really nice big slideshow here, and having like 24 emergency service and show like a a tree falling through uh, a roof, and having some really professional looking guys and trucks uh, coming right up to the 
uh, in front of a house, like with their clipboards, ready to get to work right away. And you can see it's at night, and it's a 24-hour emergency service, and you put those words right over the slide. That'll give me that impression instantly without having to read through this content. Same thing with the estimates and equipment. You could really feature that in a nice big slideshow with a really powerful visual right away. And I would put that under your services as well. I would have four services, one heating, two cooling, three roofing, and then four. Okay, so they do have more services here. Four would be indoor air quality. Then you would have uh, flashing gutters and chimneys. And then the last service would be, I would put other services and those three that you had on the home page. So, so the other services would include uh, all on one page, that 24-hour the free estimates and the free second opinions, that could be one service page right there as well. Right. Now going, heading over to the services page, so I want to learn more about it. Um, you have heating, cooling, air, indoor air quality, roofing, flashing gutters, chimneys. Uh, you, you have some text here to describe what you have, which is great. I see that's missing for flashing gutters, and then we have it here for chimneys, which confuses me. But then here we have a picture of the family. Uh, happy family, which is great, but that doesn't give me any visual connectivity between heating, cooling, indoor air quality, etc. So I'd like to see, you know, someone working on a heater, or someone doing some duct work, or something like that. And then for the cooling, uh, same kind of thing, installing maybe an air conditioner outside or indoor air quality. Uh, people uh, in inside a home that look like it's that's a very healthy environment with maybe with some plants and things will make me think that the indoor air quality there is very good. Roofing somebody up on a roof and putting these on separate pages so this way each one can rank individually because right now you just have them all in one. And, and you can Google, still have the family picture but just have yeah. them in a house. Right. In, yeah. <laughs> Happy family in a house. Exactly. Uh, what else is missing? Call to action. So you want, obviously you have this giant call us, but we want to have a button here that says call us today for a free quote or a little form here to fill out. So that's kind of missing here as well and uh, could help get more people to actually contact you from your website. Uh, I also noticed the copyright date down here is 2010. It makes me think that the site is hasn't been updated in six years. So getting uh, getting this up to date here, uh, you can actually make it so it automatically increments every single year. So on mm -hmm. January 1st, the New Year's, New Year's Day, it's automatically saying 2016. Robin, yeah, you had the, a comment? The, co the copyright date is not the established date. So if you started your business in 2010, it should not say that down there. It should say established in 2010 if you want that, but then copyright date should be 2016. Good, good observation there, Robin. Thank you for sharing that. Um, also, yeah, this free estimate. Yeah, I want a free estimate. I'm trying to click. I'm not getting to a place where I can get a free estimate. That would be huge if you had a page where they could fill out a couple things. I want to show you that Signorama site. He gets a lot of traffic. Uh, let's see, it's LibertyvilleSigns.com. LibertyvilleSigns.com. So this is one of our clients has been working with us for quite some time. See this free quote page, free quote, free quote. I can click on any of these things. And it brings me to a page, name, email, message. It's different than this contact page. The free quote page gets about eight contacts a week. The contact page doesn't get quite as many. And that's for good reason. People think when they fill out a contact page, uh, it's just going to go to some secretary or some corporate office. And who knows if someone's going to go back to a free quote. It's more directed. You know, they, I want a free quote. Uh, you can gather some qualifying information about what they want, and then you can submit the form, and, and the, I, I have a feeling that someone's going to get back to me right away. So getting a, a free quote button there and having it go to a page where they fill out a form would be great. Uh, let's see your specials here. Uh, free programmable thermostat. All right, so you get got some things that people can just print off the page here. Uh, let me take a look at the contact page. This is the only place on the website where the address shows up. Um, so I kind of have a problem with that. We want to see the address in, in the header and the footer uh, at least so people know that uh, it's a local business. Obviously, if they know 847 is, is there, but you know, seeing, seeing that address and seeing the physical address in the header and footer is important. Uh, we have a map, but it's not interactive, so there's a screenshot of the map. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can cover. We can see if they have that uh, Google listing. Uh, Gybo.com. Gybo, right? Gybo. Right. Makes me think of that Strongbow commercial. Strongbow! <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, L.R. Gregory. 
and Son. Okay, so this is interesting. So little tidbit about local business. Uh, so it says LR Gregory and Son. So you found on the map. No reviews. It's saying that you could improve some different things here. But this is the official name that Google has for you in their system. And LR Gregory and Son. This is LR Gregory and Son. So is uh, is heating, cooling, and roofing part of your business name? Uh, let's see here, LR Gregory and Son. So it looks like the the actually the business name is quite consistent, which is good. Except for in the logo. Yeah. The logo, I don't get that consistency because of what's here, and there's no periods in there either. But um, yeah, it says you're on the map. So do you do you actually have control of this? Is the next is the next thing? And let's take a look if you're a verified business. So I'm going to try and find you on Google Plus here. Uh, L R S. There you are. All right. So here's the listing. So Robin, take it away. What what can we improve in this right away? Yeah, and Paul can tell that because there's a little check mark next to that circle logo. Um, and that's because you verified it. If you didn't verify it, that's a problem because that means someone else has control of your listing and can put any information they want on your site or your Google listing. Um, I would say that the logo looks good. You have no choice. It has to be in a circle, so you fit the whole logo in there. That's great. Uh, on the right side, it is a little bit of a colder picture, uh, just an air conditioning you know, unit without a person there, without someone's you know, friendly smile, someone working on it. You know, So I would definitely maybe replace that maybe with the front of your actual business if, if it's uh, something that's attractive on the, you know, on the street, or you could replace it with a picture of you know, the staff uh, waving or something like that, or maybe your front desk. Um, and so you want you want a picture there that really represents your business, which that might represent your business, but you want to represent it even more. Um, okay, so then what we want to do next is look at the address, um, and if that's consistent with your website. So we got one two three three Rockland RD without a period. So we'll compare that. One, two, three, three. Okay, so we see a W period here on the website. And on Google, there is no W period. In fact, there's no W at all. And then RD without the period. And we have RD without the period, so that's consistent. Yeah, and you know, we're, you're probably thinking this is uh, why do these periods matter so much and all these little commas and spelling out the word. Uh, that could mean the difference of you ranking on page one and ranking on page 20. It's that important. So I'm pulling up the, the graph here that we always like to, the different reasons why you rank on Google. And here's a pie graph. And the one that we were just chatting about is the NAP, which stands for name, address, and phone number consistency, and how many. So it's all about having your name, address, and phone number exactly consistent with your Google listing. And you can see your Google listing has... Uh, 1233 three, Rockland RD. There's no W, there's no period after RD. So uh, we want to make sure everything else that exists on the internet, your website included, your Facebook page included, and anything else that's out there exactly matches this business name, this address, and this phone number. So you can see that there is an inconsistency between your website and this listing right away. Uh, what else can we, well I notice here you got a great description and you list all your different services here and if you actually had service pages on your website you could link each one of these to those service pages. Google actually lets you do that right here in your description. So you have the ability to do that, uh, you just need to get in here and, and get it done. Uh, take a look at the photos, there's a lot, you can add a lot of photos and Google actually gives you a percentage completion when you're logged into your Google My Business listing on the back end or uh, uh, on the back end it tells you if you if you got all the different things done so right here you have three business photos it looks like a thermostat maybe and we have a picture of a furnace with an air exchanger and then we have uh, air conditioner so again Robin's uh, idea of having maybe the front desk happy people that work for you it pictured those are all things that are going to give people the right feeling about what your business is all about. Uh, we notice that there's no posts here. Uh, they're very inactive. So in the world of search engine optimization, doing everything you can and filling out everything completely 
is what that word optimization means. So there's a lot more optimization that could be happening with this that could give you some huge advantages. Another thing I want to point out is hours. Um, you have your hours, let's see, today, eight, and if you click on there, it'll, I think it might give you the rest of the hours. Yes. Okay, so it looks like Thursday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., pretty consistent on that. Saturday is 8 to 12 p.m., so um, you want to make sure that your hours are accurate if you have an actual storefront, but let's say um, if most of your business is from phone calls, um, you want to make sure that you um, you have the widest amount of hours available if you can answer the phone. So if you can answer, if you have your cell phone on you all the time and the, the business phone rings through to your cell phone, uh, you can actually extend those hours. So if you were able to take a call at let's say 4.30 or 5 if someone wanted to call, um, then I would list those hours as open because when you're on Google, um, it will list your business as closed at 4.30 and it is less likely to pop up in the search results and then you won't get that call. Let's see what happens here when we do some searching for a roofing contractor in Lake Bluff. Okay, we have North Shore Roofing, Bradley Marshall Roofing, North Shore Roofing again. So we have a we have a, another situation where do these guys really have two locations? If not, the same phone number. We can close one of these and and everybody underneath them moves up. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great piece of advice here because you're number four but you don't show up in the mapping. So if you went in and marked one of these as closed, if it was really a location that was closed, you'd immediately be in this slot for this search term just by reporting to Google that one of these is closed. That would be yeah. a quick win right there. And then if you combine it with getting at least five stars, you'll be the only one with stars showing up. Right, which means you'd be the only one getting the phone calls instead of this North Shore Roofing and Bradley, uh, Bradley What's Marshall. What's also interesting is usually right next to it is the call, see that directions button? There's usually a call button and that, which is missing and then like an hours. So. I don't think they have a website. Yeah, and see yours is linked right there with that website button. Yeah. So, you know, you have a website, but, you know, if you just spend a little bit of time optimizing your website and getting this local listing fixed up, you could reasonably be ranking for that key term that you're not showing up at all for right now. You're like just barely, you're, you're within striking distance is what I like to call. Um, let's see. I have, uh wanted to just say, uh, let's say um, uh, HVAC. So that's something that you, might, someone might be searching for. So we have four seasons. And then you come up right here, and then we have Cahill. Uh, so the these are the three that are coming up. The fact that you're coming up here is good. You can see they have gold stars. You're, you, know, you and Cahill do not. Uh, but you can see there are 3.2. If you just if you came to our review party, come to our review party next week uh, on the 17th at 2 o'clock, Better Homes and Gardens, Real Estate, and uh, Gray's Lake, you could uh, learn how to get reviews from your happy customers. They teach you how to get your happy customers to leave you reviews and how to get through some of the barriers that some folks have. But you can come to that, get five, five uh, gold stars on your listing and you would immediately be getting more phone calls when four, uh, four Seasons Heating. It, people would see this, they'd see you have five five-star reviews, this uh, Four Seasons has an average of 3.2, five reviews, they're going to call you first, immediately. You, I mean, that, that would be one way to get your phone to ring faster than it is now just by uh, taking care of that. Uh, let's see, let's see, Heating, wonder what comes up. Here's Four Seasons again and you don't show up at all. So we have Lake Bluff Heating and Air Conditioning, GSHA Services. See how they have three reviews, but their goal, their stars aren't showing? You know, the stars don't show until you have at least five reviews. And you'd see that they have the three five-star reviews. So the second they get two more five-star reviews, they're going to start getting all the phone calls uh, when people search this. Uh, just to give you an idea of the click-through ratios, like I said at the very beginning, um, if you look at these search results, these are the ads. Only 30% of people click on these ads. And you think to yourself, when's the last time you clicked on these ads? Most people do not click on the ads. They're ad blind. Most people click in the organic area. So that's why getting in this area is so important. And you can't pay to get in this area. You just have to do good SEO, and that's what we specialize in. Uh, let's see. We'll do one more search term, and then we'll take a look at that last business. Let's take a look at um, air conditioning. 
There's four seasons again, GHA, then we got another one, VJ, Cahill's right here in our organic listing under the uh, other ones. Let's see if LR Gregory, you're right underneath it. You just do a little bit, you could be showing up right in here with these other guys and immediately getting more phone calls to your business for what you do. This is so huge. You're so close, but so far away. You just do a little bit of work on this stuff, you'll start getting phone calls immediately. You definitely need to, to address this. All right, we'll take a look at Emmerich. That's our next one, right, uh, Terry? Correct. All right, and Blake, do me a favor as we're going from one of these to the next. Uh, we need to note the start points for Terry so when he sends this video to some of these business owners, they can go right to their section. Okay. Uh, so we're going to take a look at Emmerich. This is... All right. Robin, you want to give me your first impressions? Sure. Um, well, I can see the biggest thing on the screen is really those uh, two. It looks like they're employees because they have the uniforms on, uh, which is good. But then I'm looking for where can I contact them. I'm looking at the top right, no phone number. I can see it in that black box, but it's a lot smaller. Um, and is it clickable? Oh, let's see. Turn off my little... Uh, no, this is a picture, so that means on a mobile okay. device I won't have, be able to click on that and call anybody. Yeah, so we want to make that clickable. Uh, I can see it's a great logo there with Emmerich Facility Services, new kind of clean. So then I'm looking, my eye drops down to the menu, residential, commercial, after construction. Still a little bit confused what they do. Then I drop down to the residential cleaning, commercial cleaning, after construction cleaning. Okay, so now I know what they do. They are cleaner of uh, both residential buildings and commercial buildings. Um, so it took me a little while to realize what they do. But um, so what would we better? Maybe putting up a slideshow there and um, maybe making a, a tagline. So I see it's, it's a new kind of clean, which is good. But then uh, maybe three bullets underneath that instead of that paragraph uh, where it just says high quality professional cleaning janitorial services, so it's bullet, bulleted out. I'm sorry, I got my little Photoshop thing here on the screen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can cut up her website here and uh, see if I can do something with it. But continue. You see this uh, call to action down here? Want to comment on this? Yeah. Um, okay, so re the request a quote, we don't know what the quote is for. Um, so I'd say request a quote for cleaning. Um, and then... I would say, or I would say, free quote cleaning, and then name, email, phone. Okay, and then um, that's a pretty simple contact form. I'd probably jazz it up a little bit so it fits into those other boxes above there. It's kind of just like a gray form where those boxes are more blue. Uh, so consistency across the site in colors and in graphics. Um, I would also that areas we serve is actually way more important than than right there. I think that should be higher up because anyone could be visiting this website from anywhere and you know before they go ahead and fill out everything we want to make sure that they know that what the area is, maybe put a map, a visual like we do these areas, something like that. But the one that thing that's really bothering me is this residential cleaning. It's pictures of cars. Um, that's so a good I, point, Rob. I didn't I even think of that. <laughs> I was confused at first, okay, are they cleaning the cars or what is going on here? But I can see the building is behind there. But what I would have is someone actually cleaning inside of, you know, a hallway or inside of uh, something that looks more residential. Um, and then I, I would just have more pictures of people with equipment in their hands actually cleaning. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find a quick stock photo. Okay, so... Yeah, not not that I'm saying to use this stock photo, but this gives me an idea of somebody who's cleaning. Maybe if I have a version of this where somebody's inside of a house. In the uniform, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a stock photo photography website we use all the time. So even if you don't have yours, uh, your own photo, maybe we could find a photo. I'll see if I can find another one. But let's see. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other services that they have here. But I do uh, like the the clear menu. The the, what do you mean the clear menu? Like uh, how it's uh, easy to navigate. Okay. The, 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 like um, I understand what you mean. Clear and easy to understand. Yeah. So I would just like to see it up higher. I mean you have 
a lot of distance here, mostly because of the size of these people. So I would make your header just the logo, and then have your phone number and address up here on the right, and then your navigation, which is this bar. I would take that and move it up to here, right underneath the logo, so this way it's nice and tight to the top. And then you could either take these three items, move that right underneath the navigation, just like it is now. Maybe get that now hiring and follow us, get that out of there. Um, this paragraph about it's a new kind of clean, you can move that down and get that out of the way. We want people to know what you do right away. Maybe underneath this uh, navigation you just do a big slideshow. One of them says residential cleaning. We get a nice big picture that says residential cleaning on it. Do another one that says commercial cleaning. Uh, after construction cleaning. Uh, let's take a look. Do we have the address anywhere on this page? No. We have, um, so we don't We don't have an address of where they're located. We do have this, which is nice, but uh, this isn't real text either. I just noticed this. I'm try trying to select this text. Google cannot see that you're serving Wisconsin, Chicagoland area, Northwest Indiana, because it cannot read this text. This is inside of a picture. So that's uh, that's a problem too. Well, let me just point out one thing that's more for humans than Google is: uh, Do you need your address on the site for people? No, because you have, you know, they're coming to whatever lo you're you're going to whatever location they are. But do you need the address on the site for Google? Yes, otherwise you're not going to rank. Good point. Let's see if it's it is on the um, it is on the contact us page. But I noticed that they have the address, but they don't have the company name printed out for Google to read either. The only version of the company name is, it's down here, Emmerich Family Services or Facility. It is down there really tiny. It's not with the address here. Let's see. Um, take a look at, uh, you, know, you have this Contact Us form. I don't see the phone number here. So if they didn't see it here and they go to Contact Us, you want to get your phone number repeated here and clickable. So if I go to it with my smartphone, I'm able to click on that. Um, also confused what this this thing is, this four stars in a five square stars, pattern. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that means that you have five star service. Uh, it's confusing to me. Normally, you know, those five stars in a row kind of is a universal symbol of we have five star service. Uh, let's see here. What was I going to check next? Uh, let's take a look at this. Oh, and the, cap page. the capture right there. Oh, this right here? Yeah. Go back. What are we going to say about that? Yeah, uh, would you recommend to take that out? This, this is an old style CAPTCHA, so the new ones that we're using actually have the little checkbox. It's made by Google and it's free. So a reCAPTCHA. And if you want to use that to protect your contact form and not get spam, uh, it's you, you've seen them all over the internet. You just click the button and you get the check mark. Uh, and then they don't people don't have to type in funny look, looking little letters all the time. So that's what we've been implementing most recently. Let's take a look at one of the services page here. I actually like this a lot. So Robin, you want to comment on this? Sure. Okay, so it looks like this is a description of your services. So the actual service is residential cleaning. And then this separates out the text more like a magazine layout with pictures. I would just say everything needs to be just a little bit bigger. But I, I mean, yeah, I think it's 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 a really nice way to describe everything you do fairly quickly. Uh, what I would add to it is probably uh, everything's kind of in paragraph form right now. Maybe break it up between paragraphs and bullet points and headers, so it's a little bit more visually appealing. Um, but if you scroll down a little bit. Um, what you're going to need is more words on this page. It's a really a minimum of 300 words is the recommendation. Um, the only words that Google can read are these paragraphs. I just noticed this is a picture. This move-ins, move-outs, deep cleaning, regular routine cleaning, carpet cleaning. Even this chunk of text down here is a picture. Google cannot read any of this. Yes, yeah, so you're and, not getting credit for all those keywords. Right. So if, if you really wanted to get ranked for deep clean deep resident deep cleaning and residential you know we want this word to actually show up on the page these headings are important you can use the in html it's the h1 h2 h3 uh, h1 is heading 1 and we and it's extremely important to google i also noticed that this page look at the page title up here it says about us it doesn't say residential cleaning look at the url it doesn't say residential cleaning so there's a lot of technical issues with this that's going to keep you from showing up for residential cleaning. Let's take a look at the con the commercial page 
and see what we have there. So this one has actually called commercial up here and here. You see the residential. Oh, I want to go back for a moment. This picture does not speak to me as residential. This looks like an office. So the other ones looked like they were um, they were residential, but that one did not. Let me go to the commercial page. All right, so here's another chunk of text. So buildings we serve, airports, uh, office space, schools, churches, commercial buildings. I assume you want to be found for these things, but Google cannot see it at all. So janitorial portal service, again, they cannot see this. All these are images. They cannot read any of that text that's in these little blue boxes here. But they can read this text here. So that's good that you have that there. And let's take a look at these pictures. This one, I could see that being a commercial space too. That one makes sense here. A lot of the same pictures, uh, which could be a duplicate content issue as well. This is great seeing commercial kitchen. That makes me think of, okay, they actually do kitchens without even reading the text here. After construction, okay, so these are great pictures to show after construction. Again, you have this giant chunk of text here inside of an image. Google cannot read this. And the pictures aren't consistent. The first one's bigger. There's different amounts of space between each picture. Yeah, so measure There's this little picture. things to clean up. Yeah. Yeah. So this, yeah, you know, speaks to your professionalism as a company if you're able to really make your layout of your website very consistent and clean. But I just measured this picture. If I drag it over and line it up, we can see this one's offset. So see it's down there. And then this one is a giant space. Wondering why that's going on. So it's an yeah, interesting layout here. Uh, definitely should be improved. Uh, let's see here. Getting a reminder here that we got three minutes left to go. Uh, why Emmerich? Wanted to check this out. Experience, quality, response, resources, value. Uh, and again, these are all pictures. Google sees no words on this page. None. I want to show you what Google sees. They look at it like this. All right. So see, this is the code of the page. And we, if we look at it as a human, so experience. So let's say we want an experienced uh, cleaner. If I come to the back here and just type in Control F and experience, I see one picture is named experience.png. But that word experience only shows up once in the name of a picture, which is this. But Google can't see that all the different texts that you wrote about that. Uh, if I come back here, they can't read this. Uh, Emmerich F uh, Facility Services has a wide range of ex uh, experiences providing. They can't read any of that stuff. So I do like some of these pictures here. This is a great residential picture. Maybe you should use this on your home page instead of that whole bunch of cars. But again, inside might be better. I know we only have a couple minutes left. I wanted to take a look at their uh, Google presence really quick. So let's just type in, um, go to Google, and we'll say uh, cleaning services. Uh, they're located in what town? Waukegan. Waukegan. So let's see if they come up in Waukegan. Yeah, so friendly cleaning service, Carolyn's cleaning service, Mary Maids. All right, so let's just do commercial cleaning service. Okay, you're coming up, Emmerich. Oh, look at this. You get eight, uh, eight reviews, an average of 4.9. That's excellent, but you came up there, so you're probably getting the first call here every time, even though you're not the first one, but you could be the first one and really kind of dominate there. Uh, let's do residential. Not coming up at all. So if you're looking to come up and be serious about this, let's see where you're at. So you're not even anywhere on the radar for that. And that's probably because your uh, Google listing and, and your website connected to it um, really isn't speaking to Google about you doing residential uh, cleaning services in the Waukegan area. So let's just do a little guybo. <laughs> right. All right. And we'll say check by business. We'll do Emmerich. So let's see, there it is. It says, congrats, you're on the map. Nice work. That tells you some different things. You need to add more photos. Let's see if we take a look at the listing itself really quick. So I'll go to plus. It's the second time I typed in the word plug and Googled it. Is. 
All right. It's a 918 South S Green Bay Road, Waukegan. I'm just curious, does that match? Contact. Okay. Good job there. And then we have no picture representing your business at all. You do have your logo in there. It is verified. Um, and here, this is why you're not showing up for residential. You didn't say anything about what you do in your description. It just says for a free quote, call the number. You saw, if you go back in this video and watch uh, watch our uh, LR Gregory, we looked at them, look at theirs. They show all their services. That's why they're actually showing up for those things. Yours, is, uh, yours isn't showing any of them. Uh, about, we have your different reviews here, which are great. Uh, but um, And we actually have a little bit of description here. All right. I don't see residential cleaning anywhere, residential and commercial clients, but we're missing residential cleaning as your key word in here. I'm not seeing that anywhere. All right. Any last comments from Robin or Blake? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. So... Uh, if you enjoyed this screencast, if you enjoyed this webinar, we want to we want to hear from you. And one of the best ways we love hearing from you is by visiting our website, awesomedynamic.com. So you just go to awesomedynamic.com. At the button, there's a Review Us button here. If you click on that, that'll bring you right to our webpage, and it'll ask you to uh, review Awesome Dynamic. Click five stars and tell us how much you loved the information that we shared with you uh, and that you found it valuable, we would really appreciate that. Uh, you can also uh, want to review the different services that we have. So we have uh, responsive web design, search engine optimization, Amazon seller consulting, and we do the Google virtual tours, uh, and that's why we're a trusted agency. Uh, and you can see the reasons why we're awesome down here. You can watch any past webinars here. Over here, you can view our upcoming webinars that are uh, every single Thursday at either 12:30 or 3 o'clock. Uh, you can also come to our review party coming up on the 17th at 2 p.m. We uh, try and do one of these per month. And then here, you can also get on our newsletter by coming and signing up for the awesome list. Just put in your name and email. Tell us you're not a robot, and uh, we'll send you information once a week on different blog posts. I want to point out our blog real quick because Robin works extremely hard on that. Uh, on our blog, if you go to awesomedynamic.com, tons of free advice on anything that you might want to learn about SEO. So we're constantly posting that. Notice our blog has something uh, twice a week, uh, if not more often. So tons of information that you could use as a small business owner to improve your business online. So definitely come and check it out. My name is Paul DeWarian with Awesome Dynamic. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, again, we have Terry Levin, Robin Mordini, Blake uh, Tintori from Awesome Dynamic, and we thank you for joining us today.